for almost nine years, I had the privilege of serving as the Queen's Canadian Prime Minister. As you might expect, that time afforded me a rarefied window into Her Majesty's role as our Head of State in an up-close and formal sense. We had many interactions on a wide variety of matters, and I'd like to think that perhaps, perhaps, the Queen and I developed a relationship beyond that of Head of State and Head of Government. There were many issues on which we were keenly aligned, especially in relation to Canadian unity and the Commonwealth. In the years when Canada was in the forefront of the battle for the liberation of Nelson Mandela and the destruction of the evil system of apartheid in South Africa. I am pleased to note that former Prime Minister Clark is with us today, and he was with me throughout those years in fighting for that objective that Nelson Mandela called his greatest triumph. But that triumph, as Joe can confirm, would never have taken place in the Commonwealth had it not been for Her Majesty's discreet, brilliant, and generous guidance and unerring instinct for the victory we all sought. J'ai souvent été frappé. I was often struck by the interest and the well the view of the Queen towards the people of Canada. It went beyond, well beyond the fact that she was a shape of state. She was the Queen, of course, well, along with other countries. But she felt, I thought, a particular love, a special deep love for Canada, for its diversity, its geography, and its history. She always displayed sustained enthusiasm for the growth and the vigor of the biggest country in her realm. Even during her very first visit in 1951, she noted from the moment when I set foot at first on Canadian soil, the feeling of strangeness went, for I knew myself to be not only amongst friends, but amongst fellow countrymen. To President Reagan in 1983, who asked as she prepared to leave California for British Columbia following a state visit to the United States, President Reagan asked where she was going next, and she replied, Mr. President, I'm going home to Canada. Le respect la reine the respect à du bilinguisme au Canada, the Queen had for the history of bilingualism part, in Canada became, very, du français, became apparent with à la perfection. her master of French, which she spoke perfectly. Her desire de la to favor the growth of the French language and her respect for the Canadian unique français. role played by French Canadians in the advancement of modern Quebec qui, qui est Canada de même que son make the Canada the country it is today Canadienne and her deep commitment to Canadian unity, which she saw as equity, possibility, and equality for all. As one who had the privilege of a significant relationship with Her Majesty for many years, I can simply say this. She was extremely intelligent, a woman of impeccable judgment, resolute, selfless, witty, very witty, and kind. Events around the world tell us regularly of violence and political coups and instability. Ordinary people in sorrow and distress as their countries descend into war, devastation, and ruin. Compare that with Canada, now 155 years old, strong, proud, prosperous, united and serene, with setbacks and challenges, of course. This is not a perfect country, 
we have our challenges. But we are largely unaffected by the major spasms of social and political discontent that have destroyed so many other countries around the world. The success of Canada, so deeply admired everywhere, as a model of civility, fairness, equality, and achievement. This didn't happen by accident. The system of government chosen by our founders had much to do with it. The British parliamentary system led incomparably by the monarchy. Today, our system might appear anachronistic to some. I understand that. But to others who constitute, in my judgment, the overwhelming majority of Canadians, the role of the monarchy, and in particular, the irreplaceable role played by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II for 70 years was absolutely indispensable in our country's hugely impressive achievements and contributions to peace and prosperity and stability at home and around the world. Her Majesty's brilliant service and contributions over seven decades did so much to sustain and elevate the golden concepts of freedom and liberty and democracy that have brought such honour to Canada and to all of our people. May God bless the Queen and may God save the King.